Hey, walk watchers and welcome back to another one of our videos about a walk that was supposed to be quite simple up Silent Valley and Ben Crom, but turned out to be something completely different. So out of the car park then and up onto the Silent Valley dam overlooking the reservoir, that mountain over the other side in the fog is Slevena Glock South at 445 metres. On a beautiful day these uh, there are some really great views right up the reservoir and in fact if you stand on the dam you get some beautiful views and vistas here. That mountain up to our right is actually Sleeve Binion. Look at this. This is just alive with frogs. This is one of those crazy scenarios, it's a puddle at the side of the road, you know, and all these frogs are mating and creating all these masses of frog spawn. It was spectacular. Well, it's spring. Looks like everybody wants a bit of the action. <laughs> now, here it is, the Indian Tunnel. The Kilkee River feeds the Ben Crom and Silent Valley reservoirs, but they didn't want to dam off the Anna Long River in the next valley over, so they dug this 3.6 kilometre tunnel through the base of Sleeve Binion into the Silent Valley reservoir and completed that in 1952. So quiet. Some would say it's a silent valley. <laughs> onto Ben Crum Reservoir, up onto the, the dam, cross over the top of the dam, down along the, the river there, the base of the mountain, and up that slope. So uh, that's the plan anyway. Now the difference between this dam and the Silent Valley Dam is that this is a concrete dam. It's got a concrete core. It was brought in in sections. Um, whereas the Silent Valley Dam is a rock and earth dam. And where Silent Valley took nearly 10 years to build, Ben Crom really only took three years because it was precast and brought in. So we've walked approximately five kilometres now up to the Ben Crom Reservoir and we're heading up the steps to the top of it. We'll walk across the top. So at this stage I'm still on track, I'm still following the route that I had planned across the dam over the stile down to the left here and along the fence line. Um, now you can see Sleeve Binion there on the left and you can see Ben Crom now on the right there, that's the mountain I'm going to be climbing. But you can also see the uh, weather is really starting to close in, that fog is really starting to thicken as we climb up the side of Ben Crump. Now this is a really tough mix to walk through as well, this heathery grassy mix. And we're just at the tail end of the boulder field there, just at the, the base of the cliffs on Ben Crump as we have a look up towards the Ben Crump Reservoir. You can see here that that fog has really started to thicken which changed my route. I adapted a wee bit and ended up at the top of Ben Crom. But look at this, I mean you can't see very much. And right over the edge there are the cliffs of Ben Crom, so I didn't want to go too close. But it is pretty spectacular there.
Now on a fair day you'd be looking across the Ben Crom Reservoir to Sleeve Lamagan and Sleeve Binion and out behind you you'd have Sleeve Burna and of course way out to the west you'd have uh, Doan and Carn and Muck and Sleeve Loch Shanna, Meal Beg, Meal Moor. You'd be able to see for miles but not today. Look at this. Well, Walk Watchers, welcome to the top of Ben Crom uh, in the Moor Mountains, overlooking the Ben Crom Reservoir, uh, right down to the Silent Valley, right away up to the head to uh, Brandy Pad at the top end. <laughs> I can see nothing. Uh, gotta admit, this was a pretty hairy walk to get up uh, here today. I was um, pretty confident in my route and my bearings uh, until I got to the bottom there are two very large outcrops of rock and I uh, was due to come up between the two of them um, and I got to the bottom and it was just like this you can't see very far ahead of you at all so I just wasn't overly confident I know though that there's a lesser slope and a path that comes up onto the top. So to be safe, I skirted around the bottom of the outcrops of rock and came up that way. Thankfully, <laughs> I am here, no problems. Um, but it's taken me a little longer. So I don't wanna hang around here too much, uh, but I wanna get back down. I wanna walk along the, um, the ridge here at Ben Crom down to the bottom of the reservoir and along the reservoir and back down the road that we came up there at Silent Valley. This has been tough because that climb that I wanted to do up Ben Crom is pretty steep um, and it's very heathery and grassy um, and then you reach that big boulder field at the bottom uh, of the outcrops of rock and that's tough as well that's tough going but I thought it was uh, good <laughs> But the weather today just hasn't allowed me to, to sort of fully realise that. It's a shame, but uh, hey, we're in the morns, we're in the mountains again today, and it's been a bit of a challenge. It's been physical and mental. Um, uh, and so that's been a, a big bonus, a big benefit. Uh, just whenever your root and your bearings and your uh, expectations don't align, you've got to just shift and pivot get the head down, uh, work out a new route and, you know, make that happen. Um, and that's what's happened today. So it's been a bit of a challenge, but uh, here we are at the top of Ben Crom. Um, I'm going to have a wee drink of water. I'm going to have something to eat. Uh, and then I'm going to head down the ridge then, as I say, uh, to the bottom end of the, the reservoir, down to the river and across uh, to the other end of the reservoir. So that's the plan. Uh, here's some of the, the statistics, they'll be all a bit jumbled up and so will the, the relive as you see me sort of zigzag up and then have to come round a bit uh, as I work out my, my new route but hey, uh, make of it what you can, uh, hope you've enjoyed the video, thank you for following us and thank you for being a subscriber on YouTube and thank you for sticking with us uh, on the videos, um, here come those stats. So Ben Crom is one of the Moran Mountains at a height of 704 metres. With my little detour it took me about two and a half hours to get to the top. Total walking time for the day of about five hours. It took me 29,613 steps or a distance of 19.3 kilometres at an average pace of about 16.02 minutes per kilometre. The weather, well let's not talk about the weather, it was just rubbish. I was by myself and I parked at the Silent Valley Mountain Park at indirect salary packing. Now it costs about a fiver to park there but there is a play park and there are ducks to feed and there's a whole load to see there. Well worth it. So we're still walking the ridge here along Ben Crom and eventually uh, I come to the gully where I'm able to get down towards the river at the top end of the reservoir. So we're about 300 metres and suddenly the fog and the cloud is cleared 
So I'm coming down this gully, down towards the end of Ben Crom Reservoir. So I'm going to come across here, but I want to go down this gully over here because that's less steep. Now you can see stretching ahead of you there that green patch where the sheep have been grazing. That's what I want to walk on. And then that brings me down to the end of the reservoir. Just look at that view, it's dark and brooding. Whoa, it's class. So this is the Kilkeel River then entering into the reservoir and that mountain ahead of us is Sleeve Lamigan. So there's a trail there that goes the whole way around the shore of the reservoir right down to the dam. We're going to follow that, go down the dam and onto the tarmac road all the way back to the Valley Mountain Park. Now let's just take a quick look at Ben Crom from this side of the reservoir. You can see all those boulders, that big boulder field under the cliffs of Ben Crom. Sorry for my strap by the way. But if you carry on down the ridge, then you come to a nice safe gully down the end, just above the Kilkeel River where you can cross back onto this trail and back down to the dam. Now these reservoirs were built to feed water down to Belfast, which by the way is 56 kilometres away, and a lot of the surrounding county down. Uh, and way back in 1905, um, 9,000 acres were purchased of this catchment, the Kilkeel River and the Annalong River, just to feed those areas with, with good, clean drinking water. Okay, let's have a look at our route then. So up along Silent Valley Reservoir at the foot of Sleeve Binion, across the dam at Ben Crom, up onto the mountain itself. Now there's that additional little loop that I did up onto the top before I walked all the way along the ridge to find the safe gully that drops me back down into the Kilkeel River Valley before I cross the river, walk the shore trail, back down the tarmac road, back down to the Silent Valley Mountain Park. This has been the Walk Watchers Walk of Silent Valley in Ben Crom. Good for watching, even better for walking. So why don't you get your boots on? Go outside and go exploring. And I'll see you again next time. <laughs>